Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. Have you ever wondered why there are so many different types of scissors? You might think that a pair of scissors is just a simple tool, two blades crossing each other to cut things, right? But the reality is, scissors come in various shapes, sizes, and designs for a very specific reason. Over time, as human needs became more specialized, the tools we used followed suit. Scissors, while ancient in their origin, have evolved into a tool that can be tailored to perform very specific tasks. From cutting delicate fabrics to trimming hair and even slicing through thick metal sheets, different types of scissors ensure that each job is done efficiently and safely. In this video, we're going to explore why we have so many different types of scissors and look at their individual uses. Let's start with the basics. Most people are familiar with general purpose scissors, the kind that you might have lying around in a kitchen drawer or an office desk. These scissors are designed to be versatile and are used for everyday tasks like cutting paper, cardboard, and even some fabrics. Their blades are usually medium length with a sharp pointed tip that allows for more precise cutting. However, while they are quite functional, they are not ideal for specialized jobs. For example, Cutting fabric with general purpose scissors can result in frayed edges or jagged cuts. This leads us to the world of fabric scissors, which are designed specifically for cutting cloth. Fabric scissors, also known as sewing or dressmaker's shears, have long, sharp blades and are designed to glide through fabric smoothly without causing frays. One key feature of these scissors is their offset handle which helps keep the fabric flat on the table while cutting, ensuring a clean straight line. Many fabric scissors also have a micro serrated edge, which grips the fabric as you cut, preventing it from slipping. These scissors are invaluable for anyone working with textiles, as they allow for precise, clean cuts that general purpose scissors simply cannot achieve. And if you've ever tried cutting fabric with a dull or incorrect tool, you know how frustrating that can be. Now, let's shift gears and talk about pinking shears, a type of scissors that are used specifically in sewing and crafting. Pinking shears have a zigzag-shaped blade, which creates a serrated edge on fabric. This is not just for decorative purposes. The serrated edge helps prevent the fabric from fraying, which is crucial when working with woven materials. Pinking shears are especially useful when you're working without a sewing machine and don't have access to techniques like overlocking, which also prevent fraying. These scissors may not get as much attention as regular fabric scissors, but they are an essential tool for any serious sewer. Another commonly known type of scissors is kitchen scissors or kitchen shears. These are found in most homes and serve a variety of purposes in food preparation. Kitchen shears are typically more robust than regular scissors, with thicker blades designed to cut through tough materials like poultry, herbs, or even packaging. Some even come with extra features like bottle openers or nutcrackers built into the handle. Their design is meant to withstand moisture and food-related messes, making them an essential tool in the kitchen. The blades of kitchen scissors often separate for easy cleaning, which helps maintain hygiene something that's critically important when working with raw meats and other foods. In the world of grooming, hair cutting scissors take center stage. Unlike general purpose or kitchen scissors, hair cutting scissors are designed to be incredibly sharp and precise. They are much thinner and more delicate than other types of scissors because they need to cut individual strands of hair without bending or damaging them. Professional hair cutting scissors are often made from high quality stainless steel or even titanium, and their blades are finely honed to provide the cleanest cut possible. The sharpness of the blades is crucial, as dull scissors can cause split ends or uneven cuts. In addition to standard hair cutting scissors, there are also thinning shears, which have teeth like notches on one or both blades. These are used to thin out hair and create texture offering more control over how much hair is removed with each cut. 
For those in the medical field, there are surgical scissors. Surgical scissors come in a variety of shapes and sizes, each designed for specific medical procedures. Some are straight, some are curved, and the blades may be sharp or blunt, depending on their intended use. For example, blunt tip scissors are often used to cut bandages or sutures because the blunt end helps avoid accidental cuts to the skin. Meanwhile, sharp-tipped scissors may be used during surgeries to make precise incisions. The material and design of surgical scissors are crucial. They need to be made from materials that can be sterilized easily and withstand repeated use in sterile environments. Let's not forget about craft scissors, which come in all sorts of designs. These scissors are generally smaller and feature colorful handles or patterned blades for specific decorative purposes. Whether it's cutting paper for scrapbooking, trimming photos, or working on DIY projects, craft scissors are designed to handle intricate, detail-oriented tasks. Some of them even have decorative edges, allowing users to cut paper in wavy or zigzag patterns, perfect for adding a touch of creativity to any project. One more unique type of scissors worth mentioning is pruning shears, or garden scissors. These are designed for outdoor use, specifically for cutting through plant stems, small branches, and other garden materials. Pruning shears typically have a spring-loaded mechanism that helps reduce hand fatigue, as they are often used for extended periods. Their blades are sharp and robust, allowing them to slice through tough plant materials without damaging the plant itself. Some even come with a notch in the blade for cutting thicker branches. These scissors are vital for any gardener looking to maintain their plants and shrubs efficiently. While we've covered many of the most common types of scissors, there are also many other specialized varieties, such as electrician scissors, nail scissors, and even trauma shears used by emergency responders. Each of these types is designed with a specific task in mind often incorporating unique features like insulated handles for electricians or serrated blades for trauma shears to cut through tough materials like seat belts. The evolution of scissors is a fascinating journey that mirrors the complexity of human tasks. As our needs have diversified, whether in sewing, cooking, hair cutting, or even emergency response, scissors have adapted to meet those needs. A single, universal pair of scissors would never be able to perform all the tasks we demand from them with the precision and efficiency we need. Instead, the wide variety of scissors ensures that we have the right tool for the job. Whether it's cutting paper in the office, trimming herbs in the kitchen, or performing delicate surgery in a hospital, there is a pair of scissors designed specifically for that task. In conclusion, the reason why we have different types of scissors boils down to the specialization of human activities. Each type of scissors, with its distinct design and function, makes the task at hand easier, more precise, and often safer. Understanding the right pair of scissors to use for a particular job not only helps you get the task done, but also ensures that the tools you are using last longer and perform better. So next time you reach for a pair of scissors, Take a moment to consider whether you're using the right tool for the job. You might be surprised at how much of a difference it can make. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, you now have a clearer understanding of the types of scissors. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content. Stay safe out there, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.